The fourth season of Stranger Things is approaching and people are starting to lose their minds in anticipation. The story of Stranger Things is now heading into uncharted territory and things are starting to tense up. Until its release though, the creators of Stranger Things plan on releasing something they've never done before, NFTs. Let's take a look at that and a few other Stranger Things stories. First up, Stranger Things NFT. NFTs have completely taken over the world over the course of the past year. It really seems like almost Almost every company and brand is trying to come up with their own NFTs, and TV shows are no different. Recently, Netflix has signed up with Candy Digital to come up with the Stranger Things Interactive Curiosity Voyage. If you go to its website, it'll take you to a countdown to Season 4 and a pop-up that asks you to sign up for a newsletter. If you sign up with your email, you'll get an email that tells you to look out for all sorts of different rewards. Even though NFTs weren't explicitly mentioned in the email itself, some users noticed that the actual code of the website has a lot of aspects related to NFTs, including surprise drops. This means that Netflix will probably release a limited edition NFT collection related to Stranger Things, and this could potentially be a massive investment opportunity for a lot of people. But not everyone is happy with Netflix venturing into the world of NFTs. Some people think it's a bit of a stupid move for Netflix to release something controversial, like NFTs, at a time when their reputation is already down the drain. You should note that the Stranger Things NFTs still haven't been announced, and there's plenty of time for Netflix to pull the plug on the project before it's too late for them. Will Season 4 be the final season? The fourth season of Stranger Things comes three whole years after the third one did. Many of the show's most die-hard fans have been craving a new season since the last one ended, and they certainly won't be disappointed considering Season 4 is going to be a mega season. It'll have nine episodes instead of the usual eight, and it'll be split into two two halves. One half is going to be released on May 27, 2022, while the other half is going to be released after a summer break. This is quite unusual for Netflix, and many people believe this was to conclude the story in a more fitting way. For the most part, it seemed like the show was going to end in Season 4, but that's confirmed to not be the case. Before Season 4 was even released, Netflix announced that they would be renewing Stranger Things for a fifth and final season. Even though Season 4 is not the final season, of the show, we know for a fact that Season 5 will be the ultimate conclusion. It'll be interesting to see how many new storylines are going to be set up in the fourth season, or if they'll just continue the existing stories into Season 5 as well. How old are the kids going to be in Season 4? If there's one major flaw in the way Stranger Things works, it's age consistency. The first season of Stranger Things revolved around a bunch of preteen kids, and it was released in 2016, six years ago. Now in 2022, all all of those preteen kids have grown up. Some of them are even adults. But the canon timeline hasn't progressed nearly as much as the kids have. In the show, there was no three-year time skip, so you can expect all of the kids to look super out of place during the season. For example, Eleven was supposed to be 12 years old in season one, which was also how old Millie Bobby Brown was in 2016. However, in 2022, Millie Bobby Brown is 18 years old, but her character in season four is only supposed to be 15 years old. Even though it's a bit easier to make an 18-year-old girl look 15, it's a lot harder to make a 19-year-old man look 15, which is going to be the case with Finn Wolfhard and his character Mike Wheeler. When the trailer for Season 4 came out, pretty much all of the comments were about how Finn looks way too old to be playing the character of Mike. It'll be interesting to see how the show will deal with this in Season 5, when all of the main characters will be in their 20s. Will fans be happy with Season 4? Even though we know at this point that we won't get a full conclusion to the story in Season 4, fans are hoping that it'll at least have a satisfying ending. If you've seen the show so far, all of the seasons have ended up with a conclusion in one way or another, along with a cliffhanger that makes you wish the next season was already out. It seems like Season 4 is going to be no different in this scenario. The Duffer Brothers, who are the creators of Stranger Things, recently gave an interview to SFX Magazine. Even though they've been pretty tight-lipped on what's going to happen in the season up until this point, they actually gave a hint of what fans can expect of the season this time. They said that the story they have written for Season 4 and Season 5 will leave fans wanting a lot more once it's actually over. Even though this is a vague and slightly ominous statement, it really has a lot of fans wondering what they're actually talking about. They could potentially conclude Stranger Things will still keep the chances of a revival or another spinoff alive. Stranger Things is one of the strongest IPs on Netflix, and they're not going to miss out 
out on a chance to completely milk it until its last breath. Regardless, it seems like fans of the show shouldn't be too worried about its ending. What's the budget like for season 4? Stranger Things has always been a big budget show. Even back in season 1, when no one knew whether or not the show was actually going to be successful, Netflix granted Stranger Things a massive budget of over $7 million per episode. In comparison, the first season of Game of Thrones had a budget of around $6 million per episode. However, by the end of Game of Thrones, the per episode budget had swelled to over $15 million. But that budget can be justified, considering how many special effects it had. This had a lot of fans wondering, how much is the budget for season 4 of Stranger Things? Surely it can't be as big as a show like Game of Thrones, right? Well, you'd be wrong. According to the AV Club, Netflix is reportedly spending over $30 million per episode on the fourth season of Stranger Things. This could potentially make Stranger Things the most expensive show in the world to produce. Even though a budget like that is surely good news for fans of the show, people are starting to wonder where on earth are they actually spending this budget. It's certainly not as visually appealing as Game of Thrones or any other show with a much smaller budget. However, we have a feeling that season 4 is going to impress all of us in more ways than you might think. What's the tone going to be like for Stranger Things? For the past three seasons, we have seen a lot of different tones to be used in Stranger Things. From lighthearted comedy to 80s nostalgia to, of course, extreme horror. Every season has a slightly different tone, which is something that the Duffer brothers absolutely excel at, which is why fans are wondering what the whole tone for season 4 is going to be like. In an interview with Polygon, the cast of Stranger Things revealed a few things about the upcoming season of the show, including what kind of tone it would have. They revealed that the season overall is going to be a lot darker than some of the previous seasons. However, it won't be all grainy or scary. The cast also revealed that there is going to be a lot more comedy, specifically dark comedy, sprinkled throughout the show. These statements have piqued a lot of people's interests, and it'll be interesting to see whether or not the season actually lives up to all the hype. What are some potential Stranger Things spin-offs? After the show eventually ends, it's almost certain that there are going to be spin-offs of Stranger Things being made almost immediately. But what exactly are the spin-offs that the Duffer brothers can make? For starters, we could have a spin-off entirely focused on the adult life of Eleven. This spin-off could feature a lot more mature content than we're all used to. And who knows? Maybe we could even see Mike join in with her. Aside from that, we could potentially see a prequel to Stranger Things based on some of the other test subjects and experiments of the Hawkins lab. Other potential spin-offs include the adventures of Bauman and Owens, and a show based on the Russian side of things. That's a wrap for this video. How excited are you about the new season of Stranger Things? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.